the long-awaited update. Finally, we get to have a look at this queen. This is Queen Lilith and the Valkyries. Let's get into the video. This video is sponsored by Ant Keeping Depot. Click on the link in the description to check out their website. Well, this video has definitely been well overdue. Um, it's time to have a look at Lilith and the Valkyrie. So that's my Mimesia nigrosincta queen that I had. In fact, I went back and had a look um, at the video, last video, and it was actually the end of May last year. I cannot believe it's been that long. So I'm terribly sorry, but let's get into the update. So this is where she is housed. And in the last video, you probably would have noticed um, that, yeah, she's been struggling, been struggling. We've had some workers die off. Now, to begin with in this video, I'm going to do some cleaning. So uh, cleaning, um, just to clean up the area a bit, her outworld and the little platform that I've got her on as well. Nice to keep things good and clean so you don't uh, attract other ants that may be invasive around the area, coming into the area. And also it just looks nice anyway. So we'll go about cleaning. So yeah, as mentioned, we got up to three workers with her. Um, then one seemed to escape and disappear. Uh, then one died, probably from old age. And then I was left with one worker and I was starting to get really worried. A big issue. Um, had a few little eggs, a couple had failed. Um, in their cocoons so yeah was not looking too good for her and that's part of the reason it's been so long since I've done an update I wanted to put her away somewhere where she was safe and secure and try and get her going um, so yeah it's time for an update on her and uh, just to let you know how she has been going so we'll go and have a look at her in a second so I'm just doing a bit of a clean up around the outworld here just to give it a nice tidy up um, you know just clean out and give us some fresh uh, water and sugar water as well and clean up just the outside from the grime so I'm just using uh, these cotton buds some nice fresh clean water a little bit of a paintbrush on the outside I'm using antibacterial wipes um, just to kill off anything that might come around so yeah always a good idea to keep it nice and clean your outworlds and your nests uh, for your ants it's very important um, sometimes if you leave stuff around um, and mess it attracts um, it can attract things like mold to grow up, uh, which you definitely don't want around. So here we go, a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner. But we'll have a little bit of a look inside the outworld now. Do a little bit of clean up of these dishes as well, what do you think? So here we go inside. Uh, that water dish at the top there, looking a little bit grubby and grimy. So we'll get that one out and we'll clean that and we'll give us some new sugar water as well. There we go, how's that? much much nicer out here for her and I'll chop up uh, some protein for her and give that but anyway let's get into having a look at this queen and just to mention again it is a Mimesia nigrosincta sometimes they get called uh, jumping jacks as well uh, they do jump um, which is uh, pretty nasty they've got quite a big jump and um, when you've got a lot of workers going for you it can be a little bit scary so we'll just lift off and have a little look inside here. Got a little bit of a red film as well, just to give it a little bit of a, a break up and a bit of a screen for the light. So she's in this bull ant den by Ant Shop Oz. I've done a video and I'll just put a uh, card at the top as well for that if you're interested. And here we go, here she is. Now she's in this bottom one here and you can see she's got some workers. So that is really good. But you can see the test tube is not looking too great. It's pretty grimy, it's nearly run out of water. And I've actually topped this one up a couple of times, but it is pretty messy. But what you'll see at the top there, I've put in a fresh test tube um, to try and give her a new home to go into, but she hasn't gone there yet. Let's have a closer look though, up at the colony. So there she is, beautiful Lilith and the Valkyries. So we've got three workers, we're back up to three workers, so that's fantastic. Two of these workers hatched not that long ago. So that's really good. And you can probably just see it there. We've got a larvae, a decent sized larvae as well. So hopefully that'll um, cocoon up fairly soon and we might have another worker coming up. So they're doing really well. Again, I'll try and keep, uh, keep away from disturbing them too much. It's really critical that you do that. If you ever have a founding queen, try not to disturb her much at all. Now this really is a beautiful species of Mimesia or bull ant. 
the coloration is just fantastic with that orange and black reminds me of a tiger and uh, yeah they're quite an aggressive species so it's great to uh, to have a colony of these and going okay now hopefully we can just keep this colony going nicely these uh, workers quite a nimble fairly um, slim set and you've got those mandibles at the front um, sort of the serrated edge there as well so as mentioned yes these girls can jump and I actually uh, looked after a colony of uh, probably a couple of hundred of these and it was quite scary um, with them jumping around in the outworld trying to get you when you're trying to clean up the outworld I had to be very careful and if they get through the barrier and up the side of the um, the walls of the outworld them jumping out on mass it's a scary thing you really have to think really quickly about what you're going to do but Lilith is doing really well um, so very happy to share this colony with you um, they're doing well in this bull ant den as well it's a nice nice setup it's got that little end, uh, end to it which is that like a little outworld if you want and I've attached my own outworld to it um, they have updated so you can always check that out on their website um, check out that uh, Oz and shop now there's a link down in the description for that too and if you use the code there you'll also get five percent off your purchase so yeah go ahead and do that it'd be fantastic help support the channel as well doesn't cost you any extra in fact you get a discount so even better so thanks uh, thanks to ant shop oz for that so yeah really enjoy uh, this colony let me know in the comments below what you think and how they're going and hopefully this colony will be able to progress nicely and we'll have a cells a decent colony of Mimesia nigrosincta. Well, there's uh, plenty more to come with this colony. Looking forward to it. Now, I'd like you to just to comment below. Let me know what is your favorite sort of bull ant or Mimesia. There's plenty of species to choose from. What one do you like the best? I'd really like to know. Let me know in the comments below. It'd be fantastic just to see. Uh, this is one of my particular favorites well i hope you've enjoyed this video look at lilith and the valkyries uh, named by one of our patreons so thank you very much medical carcass 9 it's been great sharing this with you for as little as one dollar a month you can support the channel and you'll get early access to videos behind the scenes information and plenty of other perks on different levels as well so i really appreciate your support thank you very much and a huge thanks to my wonderful Patreons. Thank you very much for your support. So thanks Medical Carcass 9, John Redwood, K Single, and Gordon C. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up as well. There's a video there recommended for you by YouTube and one that I've picked that I think you might enjoy. Thanks for watching the video right the way through and happy ant keeping.